The devastating loss of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh in the spring of 2021, brought to mind other tragedies that the British royal family has endured throughout history, such as the terrible car accident that took the life of Princess Diana in 1997. Diana, Princess of Wales, has died after a car crash in Paris. Beloved worldwide, Diana's funeral was unlike any other. Despite intense global interest in the event, she had a closed casket funeral. But why was that the case? And is there an instance where the adoring throngs might have caught one last view of the princess before she was laid to rest? The answer to those questions lies not only in the nature of how Diana died, but also in many aspects of British tradition relating to funeral ceremonies. Princess Diana died when the car she was riding in crashed as the driver sped through a tunnel in Paris. Diana, her boyfriend Dodi Al-Fayed, and her bodyguard were reportedly trying to get away from the paparazzi who hounded them at dinner that night. She was taken to the hospital, but died a short time later. Aside from Diana, two other passengers died in the crash, including Al-Fayed. Only 36 at the time of her passing, Diana's tragic death shocked the world. For that reason, her funeral ceremony was a media frenzy covered by various outlets and attended by celebrities and heads of state. She was the people's princess, and that's how she will stay, how she will remain. After arriving at the hospital, Princess Diana underwent massive medical intervention as doctors attempted to save her life. The British royal suffered a concussion in the car wreck, as well as a broken arm and a badly cut thigh. More than the other injuries, though, it was a serious chest injury that killed her. The injury was so severe that Diana's heart had moved within her ribcage. She suffered massive internal bleeding caused by a severed pulmonary vein. If Diana had been wearing a seatbelt, she might have survived Argy's parade. After suffering such a long list of injuries and undergoing an autopsy, her body was in no condition to be put on display. Although conspiracy theories swirled around Diana's death, it was eventually ruled by British police to be nothing more than a tragic accident worsened by the intoxication of limo driver Henri Paul. Paul died at the scene with a blood alcohol content three times the French legal limit. No one was charged in the case. If circumstances surrounding the death of Princess Diana were different, could she possibly have had an open casket funeral? That's impossible to say with any degree of certainty. However, here's why it's highly unlikely that would have been the case. For Princess Diana to have been put on view at her funeral in that fashion would have been doubly grim since her two young sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, were in attendance. However, Diana was interred as elegantly as she was known to be while alive, in black heels and in a black wool cocktail dress from fashion designer Catherine Walker. Touchingly, pictures of William and Harry were also placed in her casket, and so too were rosary beads Diana received from Mother Teresa. She is buried in her familial property at Spencer Estate Grounds in Althorpe Park. Some 2,000 people attended her funeral. It's highly unlikely Princess Diana would have ever had an open casket funeral, seeing as how they just aren't that common in England, and they haven't been since the age of Victoria. Back then, mourners would sit next to the body for several days as part of what's called a wake. The rationale for the practice was partly to make sure the person was really dead and not just in a coma. The English in the Victorian era even sometimes took pictures with their loved ones' bodies. Luckily, post-mortem photography fell by the wayside, but the the practice of a wake is still much more common in America and other parts of the world than it is now in England. Diana was buried in a lead casket, as they are believed to preserve bodies longer than wooden ones. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!